hey everyone welcome to my channel today i'm doing this look over here so if you want to know how i got this then please keep on watching i'm gonna start off with using this garnier's bb cream and i'm just gonna use a little bit of it oops <laughs> uh, this was too too much don't use too much then i'm just gonna make small dots all over my face so i can cover it up more easily and more properly then i'm gonna use this beauty blender over here this is not tapped so if you have really dry skin then i recommend that you use a damped beauty blender but since i didn't have it that day so i didn't use i'm using these two foundations over here this is one by mac one by maybelline which is fit me i'm gonna make some small dots all over my face and i'm just gonna blend it all out with the same beauty blender so you have to make sure your beauty blender is clean because if it's not it's gonna make your foundation look really cakey and i'm sure a lot of people don't like it and i'm gonna use it on my eyes as well using this um, concealer over here i'm gonna apply it on, under my eyes i have really bad dark circles under my eyes so i'm gonna use a lot of this under my eyes then on my forehead my cupid's bow my nose and my chin and using the same beauty blender i'm gonna blend it all out but uh, from the clean side Then using this MAC fix, I'm going to set it all up uh, using the same beauty blender again. I really like using powders with beauty blender. I feel that that works better for me. And then taking this Makeup Revolution highlighting palette, I'm going to use the, <laughs> the darkest shade. And I'm going to use it on this uh, fluffy blending brush and I'm going to place it on my crease and blend it all out. And I'm so sorry guys, I didn't know that my camera wasn't focusing. This was my first time filming a video, so I apologize for that. But I promise you, it will start focusing very soon. And using this sleek palette over here, I'm gonna pick up the darkest shade, which is this jet black shade over here. I'm gonna apply it on top of the brown shade I applied earlier. I'm gonna deposit the color before I start uh, blending it all out and then the, using the same fluffy blending brush I just blended it all out and then I'm using this beautiful blue shade over here Using this round brush, I'm gonna apply it on my outer corner and I'm gonna blend it all out with the same brush I'm applying it with. So you're not gonna blend it a lot, just a little bit. Then using these two colors over here, I'm gonna apply it on my eyelid, just in the middle and a little bit in the inner corners. You don't want to blend it a lot because then the eyeshadow will be seamless and you don't want it to be seamless you want it to pop out i'm using this lightest shade over here and i'm just gonna go and apply it in my inner corners this will make my eye look uh, bigger and it will give that nice highlight So take your time and blend it all well. You don't want any harsh lines on your eyelids or anywhere on your face. And now I'm using this same, same highlighter and I'm applying it on my brow bone. I was supposed to film the rest of my uh, makeup which was eyeliner and my eyebrows but my camera stopped working so I'm so sorry for this guys. I'm using this fact Max Factor mascara and I'm just applying it on my upper lashes and my lower lashes. I have already applied my falsies. I'm 
now taking this thin angled um, eyeshadow brush I'm gonna apply this brown color applied in my crease under my eyes and I'm gonna top it off with a little bit of black color just on the outer corner of my lower lash line then I'm using this angled contouring brush I'm gonna contour with the darkest shade from the same makeup revolution palette I'm gonna contour my under my cheeks and now taking this big fluffy brush I'm gonna blend it all out so there is no harsh lines on my face and it's nice and blended Taking this small concealer brush, I'm gonna line my nose with the same contour color. I'm not gonna blend it out with the same brush. I'm actually gonna blend it out with uh, using my finger. I feel that I have more control over the contour if I blend it out with my finger only on my nose. And I'm just dragging a little bit down as well while blending with my finger. Then taking this highlighting brush, I'm just gonna dust the residues of my nose. And I'm, I'm contouring my forehead. So you want to contour basically all the places you want to hide. And you're gonna highlight all the places you want to pop up. And then I'm just contouring my jawbone. I'm not using a lot of uh, contouring over here, this is just a simple and very nice natural contouring. Now taking the same highlighter, I'm gonna highlight my face with this. And trust me you guys, this palette is such a bomb. It's so pigmented, you only need a little bit of the product and it goes a long way. So I'm just zooming in so you guys can see how pigmented this product is I'm applying it with a highlighting brush I'm just blending it all out with a fluffy brush I'm basically gonna apply this on my uh, cheeks nose my forehead my cupid's bow and my chin Now using this uh, pink uh, lip liner, I'm gonna line my lips with this. I'm so sorry guys, but I don't remember where I bought this, what shade and what company it is, I really don't know. And now I'm gonna use this uh, Estee Lauder lipstick. I'm gonna list all the products and shades uh, down in the description box because I can't remember the shade but this is such a beautiful color this is so good for everyday use such nude and pinky color I love this so this is it for today's look guys I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then please don't forget to like this give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell button so you don't miss out any videos I upload in the future I see you in my next video take care bye bye I love you all